back to Paper Mario. <laughs> diddly ho, hi diddly ho, neighbors. Shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> I didn't mean to buy that. <laughs> <laughs> you bought a revive. No, 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 no. I don't want to buy it. Thank you. Uh, uh, you bought the revive. You're gonna need it. You keep on dying. The more. Da oh, so if I get purple. Uh, really Chill cool. out. <laughs> what killed the dinosaurs? <laughs> the Ice Age! <laughs> need to calm down, man. You need a spin. I can't spin downstairs. That's dangerous. <laughs> oh, I don't want to break a leg. You made a paper. You'll be fine. Exactly. Have you ever broken a bone? No. I haven't either. <laughs> you? No. Wow. We're indestructible. Like, that's right. Like, you think me of all people probably would? I bet Peach threw him. <laughs> <laughs> That, that, Fuck you! That bitch. There's Mario! 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 He, he, I don't think he can hear me! Mario! <laughs> Boof! <laughs> and he has a coma. <laughs> well, and the game's over. <laughs> is, it, is his name Tweak? Yeah. Oh. Very unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, very unfortunate. It's a lucky star, unlike uh, me, because my name's Tweak. <laughs> Shut up. Um, have you ever had like an instance where you think you should have broken a bone, but you didn't? I fell off a swing set once at the very top. Oh well. Yeah. I forgot what I was doing. I'm pretty sure I was doing something I shouldn't have been doing. And uh <laughs> I fell backwards. Oh. And, and I hit okay, I didn't hit the ground. My arm got stuck on the chain of the thing and the rest of my body fell off and I just hit the ground skidding. Ooh. So yeah, that was not not a good day for me. But didn't break a bone luckily. <laughs> Tore my leg up. But didn't break a bone, so you know I think it was an even trade. <laughs> That's pretty good. It didn't break anything, but killed me on the inside. Killed me on the inside. <laughs> what about you, Quinn? Any instances where you think you should have broken a bone? Oh, um, yeah. Back in elementary school, we are. Uh, I was going to a private school, and we had like this pseudo gym. Mm hmm. This was like a really small building, and for some reason we had like a mat. I was like, you know those cushioning mats, like, they have them, like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know to compare it to, but y'all know. <laughs> yeah. And, for some reason, I thought it'd be like, okay, maybe it's a great idea just to front flip onto it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course. And you know, like, anime, <laughs> when somebody falls off something, and they're, like, vertical, and their neck's at an angle? Oh, yeah. I basically landed like that. <laughs> oh, while, while I did not break anything, I did have a charley horse for a couple days. Oh, oh man. wow. And my spine, so for the rest of the day, I just laid in the gym. And so it was did, time wait, to go. Did, did anybody see this happen? Yeah. Oh, my yeah? entire class saw it. Oh, okay. Wow. Keep in mind, this was such a small school. My entire class stayed with me those, like, two years. Wow. Until middle school. Jesus. And, like, brought it up every other day. Did they call you charley horse? No, because I didn't know it was a fucking Charlie horse. I was okay, just okay. like Nick, laying on the goddamn floor. And Nick's name missed. <laughs> <laughs> no, luckily they weren't assholes, so they didn't call me anything. Well, well I wish I'd gone to your school. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice school. Well, yeah, I didn't even get to go to lunch. Just kind of brought it to me on the floor, and I kind of like, <laughs> it's like I'll, I'll just, I'll just get it here. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> that's, that's great. Like, like, I was just laying great. on the floor, like <laughs> trying to reach over to shit. <laughs> Because I didn't want to get up because if I moved, my spine just hurted. Oh my goodness. Hurted. Hurted. Hurt. Hurted. No, hurt its word. <laughs> Shut up. Just, just, just like a uh, worser. Worser's yeah. a word. <laughs> what about you, Nick? Yeah, what about you, Nick? Um, I was riding my bike. And I... Good start. We had a... <laughs> my neighborhood that had really shit sidewalks. Like, to the point where all of them are like cracked and like some are higher than the others and lower just because of the way the concrete ended up settling over time and so I hit one of them with my tire and I flipped off my bike and then my bike flipped off of me so it was like this weird like co-flippy thing <laughs> and then I hit my and I just went fun and I just lay there for a second like if I don't move <laughs> I can't feel the thing. <laughs> I have to lay here, or else the pain will come. <laughs> Eventually, I, I, I sat up and I started laughing because I, I did that a lot as a kid. Yeah. If I got hurt, I would just start laughing. It keeps the pain away. Yeah. It would of make course. You, it would make people weird. Make it till you make it. Um, but yeah, I was like, Jesus Christ! Like I had like a bike, 
like I flipped and fell and had a bike fall on me and still have enough force to flip off of me. Ouch. <laughs> so I was really surprised like nothing was fucked up. Unfortunately, no. Oh wait, did anybody see that happen? No. God, what a missed opportunity. <laughs> I wish I'd seen it. it was, but it was right after s swim practice too. So the reason why I think it was so well flippable was I was very, I was still wet. So I, was, I slipped. <laughs> Everything slid too. Did you go from a laugh to a cry? You're like, <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't never really cry when I got in pain as mm -hmm. a kid. I was always the kid that cried in like situations got too quote unquote tense. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude, I was a huge crybaby when I was a kid. Like, I like I, I cried because I thought it would get me out of situations. Oh, it's black, it's black toads! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> hey, dude, what's up? Yeah, you better tell the lesson. <laughs> We're evil. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they sound French? Because <laughs> French are evil. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, according to Kong Pao, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Kung Pao chicken? <laughs> touch me. I'll show you the future. Don't touch me. Touch me. His little demands touch me. His reprimands touch me harder. <laughs> Ghost stories. <laughs> Look at me go. <laughs> hey guys, check out my mad spins. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen a man jump like this. Uh, aren't you gonna do uh, that? Uh, whoa. Uh, no, whoa. God, you, you Hulk truck somewhere is about to tip over. Right? I know, right? Oh my oh god, my it's god. the sluts. <laughs> Plus, sluts go nuts. <laughs> Slots are running away. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep those hoes in line, Mario! <laughs> oh, by the way, there's this technique. It's called the pimp hand. <laughs> That's right. Pimp hand strong. You better get that pimp hand ready. Chapter, Chapter one. one. Yeah, because it plays out like a book. Because it's paper. Because <laughs> it's paper. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you were hit by, hit by a... the dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my dick. <laughs> oh, why would you do that? <laughs> dick shots, man. Not cool. Better get that hammer ready, son. <laughs> Better make some turtle soup. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you gotta get the turtles. Turtles. Did you ever have a pet turtle? No. I want a pet turtle. I always wanted a pet turtle, but then I went to a friend's house who had a pet turtle. Oh my god, those cages. Freaked. Oh yeah, really? Oh yeah. I was like, my friend, he was like, oh yeah, you go to the cage and like, it didn't hit me until like I was a foot in front of it, and then I was like, oh. oh. <laughs> Like, yeah, like, like oh, turtles, turtles are gross. <laughs> well, uh, I've never wanted a turtle. I always wanted a ferret. Yeah, tube snakes. Dude, ferrets are. are wait, what? Tube rats. Uh, tube rats. I was gonna say, like, dude, ferrets are kind of vicious. Yeah, they are. And nocturnal. Yeah, they are. And that's why you want one. I want an otter. No, the reason I always you can't wanted to have a pet otter. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I always wanted a ferret. Is so I can basically do the Akiba thing from Naruto. Oh. Except yeah. having to be able to like crawl around and shit. <laughs> uh, that's why I, that's why I had a dog named that. Uh, but I am the next dog I'm gonna get, I'm gonna teach it a trick to where if I say uh, fang over fang, it will jump on my back. <laughs> that's awesome. And I'm gonna carry it in my jacket everywhere I go. Until it gets too big. Yeah. You, didn't you used to say that when you have a son you're gonna train him like Lee? Yeah. Yeah? You still know how to do that? You gotta tie weights to his legs, go for a jog every every day? Look, all my kids are basically gonna be assassins when need be. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm old, I'm gonna be like, hey, this, these guys are messing with me, I'm too old to do anything, and watch them kick their ass. Yes, mother. <laughs> <laughs> have y'all seen, seen Naruto? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, lately. Not, um, I, I see tidbits on uh, YouTube. Oh, because I've actually re been rewatching it, and it actually still surprisingly holds up yeah? pretty well. But I guess that's why it's one of like the shonen, shonen titans that it was. Yeah. I hear I hear Baruto it actually isn't that bad. Baruto's uh, Boruto. Boruto. Not Baruto. Boruto. Uh, is actually pretty good. Yeah, it was just a surprise. Mm -hmm. I, I like a lot of the character development that's happened with uh, as they gotten older, which is really nice. I think I might. Man, I I'm not too interested. The, I I really did. You ever like Naruto? Yeah, I like Naruto. Right. Of course, he wants to treat his children like Lee. He told me that in high school. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, he can say that, but that doesn't mean he actually likes it. Oh, no, well, no, I enjoyed no, it. He does. Just... Yeah, dude, Lee, one of the best characters. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. He's, you're going to be like, you're going to train to be a runner. You're going to train him like Lee, and then Well, Lee wasn't track only trained to be a runner. Well, I mean, he's going to train him like Lee. He's going to put the weights on him, and then at, at track meets, he's going to look at his son. He's like, son... It's I give time. you permission. <laughs> Why would you waste that at a track meet? That's like that should only be a move used for fights. 
No, it's great. So you know how everyone always talks about that scene? Yeah. I don't know why people act like that was such like the badass scene. I always remember when he opens the third gate and yeah. runs, and the right? little field just goes, yes. and lifts. <laughs> and I'm like, how is that not the more impressive part? <laughs> I wonder if anybody, I'm pretty sure somebody's gone to death, because there are always those people. It's like, I wonder how much, like, how much were those pressure? weights? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. How much, well, first, that was also the pressure. Like, how much were the weights that Lee wore when mm-hmm. he took them off? I think it actually just says in the series. Does it? Oh, well, okay, yeah, probably because I can't read. Japanese. Q does. Q could probably tell them. Or, like, I don't know if it says that, but I think like there's, like, a bunch of, like, tidbit stuff and, like, stuff shown. Oh, I think that's something that was said. Uh, it might be, like, on, you know, title chapter. Yeah. Who is one of your favorite characters? Who is your favorite character in Naruto? Favorite character in Naruto? I'm talking about heroes or villains. Uh, just favorite character. Favorite character. Uh, Gara. <laughs> I really like Gara. Yeah, his, yeah, his story, just, mm-hmm. just character development is, is great. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love it. What about you, Q? Uh, my my favorite hero from a favorite hero, Shikamaru. Yeah. <laughs> because dude. I just I like smart ass characters. You are Shikamaru, dude. No, I'm not that smart. Okay. I would not say smart sh- I would say, in all honesty, when I watch the show and see how that guy plays, Shino. Shino. Yeah, definitely. Like, yeah, you're not. I don't think you're a bug person, but like how Shino acts and how like he's kind of like at the same level of like calm and just whatever that Chikamaro kind of is. That's definitely you. Thanks, Yeah, cool. That was a good show. And then I guess you also want to say villain. Yeah. Because you may had to make that distinction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. Who's your favorite villain? The girl was both. So. I can stop that. Yeah. That is a dude. Followed, re- followed really closely, second by Hida. Oh, so nah. But who? Kisame. That was my favorite villain. Shark guy with a nice <laughs> sword that's also a live creature that eats shit? That's fucking cool. What? Uh, you might want to heal. <laughs> and then my favorite... Oh shit, you're right. Uh, oh fuck. You're you know dead. What? Yeah, I yeah. am. Uh, game over. Yeah, I am dead. Uh, fuck. Favorite villain? Um, Itachi. I like Itachi. Mm. I didn't yeah. even get a chance to say my favorite hero. Basic oh, I'm sorry. Bitch. Oh, huh? Wait, what? <laughs> Basic bitch? Oh, you shut up. Touch is great. I don't know when the last time I saved. Oh, dude, that's... Uh, you didn't save since the first village. That's no. rough, buddy. No, because I've been able to save in between things. Um, I think we're just going to have to do the whole slut nuts thing again. Oh, yeah. my, oh my goodness. That's not that far. Why are you saying all oh, my goodness? Did you just call them slut nuts? Yes. The toads? Yeah, because we've been calling them sluts. Yeah, the sluts. Well, yeah, but you added nuts. Yeah, because slut, slut nuts. nuts. Slut, butt sluts go nuts. Three. <laughs> Who's your favorite hero? Kiba. Kiba. Yeah. I can see it. Cool. Yeah, because like how he was. Like that. The reason why I loved Shikamaru and Kiba was because they were the two polar opposites that were me when my ADHD would go off. I'd be super calm and just bored with everything, and then I'd be like, "Yeah!" out of nowhere. <laughs> and then also just because of like my infinity for dogs, yeah. And, like, I was just like, "Yeah, yeah." <laughs> this guy gets it. This yeah. guy. And I mean, like, and also the same reason why I always loved Yamcha was because of the wolf-based attack names and stuff like that. <laughs> Poor Yamcha. Yeah. Hey, he's gonna he's getting his chance in that new manga. I mean, you do know that's not official, right? It's not? No, it's a fan manga. The one where he trains with Master Roshi? Is that what you're talking about? Or no, no, no. The no, one there's that... one where there's like a person from the real world dies. who dies yes. and he gets turned into And instead of going off with Bulma, he goes to train with Master Yoshi- Roshi? Oh, wait, is that? Oh, because like, I, I never looked more into it. Is that what, what it is? Yes, that's why he gets stronger. That's a fan thing. Oh. That's also... He, I mean that makes sense. Yeah. I mean it seems so official. I'd see it I see it on the media. He also made one where it was Vegeta went to planet Earth instead of Goku. Mm-hmm. Or something like that. Well, interesting. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that happened. You mean there was one chapter and then it ended because Vegeta killed everybody? Because <laughs> he would have hit his head too. Hmm. And then like <laughs> Goku came with Nappa and stuff like that. Like, it, the same scenario, just with the different characters and their strength abilities. What a twist. Do you believe the theory that, uh, you know in Dragon Ball, Bulma's first wish was gonna be for a boyfriend? Like, the her dream man? Yeah. Do you believe the theory that if she had gotten that wish, it would have been Vegeta? Yeah. Yeah. 
I love that. That would have been, that would have been interesting. Because, <laughs> like, she makes that wish, and a little eight-year-old Vegeta pops up in front of her. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Vegeta. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> it's like, I don't know why, but I like you. Let's grow up and have kids. <laughs> What an excellent wish. <laughs> <laughs> what would you have wished? Shenron. Oh, oh, man. You put me on the spot. Um, That's all I have to do, really. <laughs> yeah, no, right? Man, what would you ask the Eternal Dragon? Uh, I'd ask... Shit, money. Fuck, I don't know. What a, I don't be, what a cop-out answer. Come back to me. Guys. Alright, alright. Give me Gohan's power and potential. Really? Yeah. Like, he's had his power unlocked like five times. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's just that whenever he gets it unlocked, he becomes the. He gets, he gets a big head, and then he loses. He was beating the shit out of Super Boo, and then he got cocky. Oh, yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, didn't Piccolo point that out that he always gets cocky, and that's his downfall? That's why I stopped fighting. <laughs> I, take, I, can't, I take back what I said. I want to have the ability to transform, but I don't have a final form. So that way, every time I transform, I can go, THIS ISN'T EVEN MY FINAL FORM! <laughs> so you just want ult like, unlimited transformation? Unlimited transformation! With each transformation, like, the only percentage gain of power is just 1%. That's right, that's right. So would, you have to constantly transform? I have to constantly transform. And it would just be forever, and I would just say, "This isn't even my final form." But You're like, only only little things on me would change. Like, I would just get like a little horn on this side, then a little horn on this side, <laughs> and then a, a little tail would start to go, and then it would become one tail, and then it'd be two tails, and it'd go to three tails, then go back to one tail. Except this time, the one tail has three tails connected to it. And it's spiky. <laughs> it's spiky. You know, it just changes every time. <laughs> what about uh, you, Nick? I don't know. I don't know, because, like, I never have, like, the super selfish wishes, like, no offense, but, like, yours only pertain to you. Yeah. Mine would be like, oh, I want superpowers to be real. Or the seven-year-old kid in me will always scream to this very day, Pokemon! Pokemon! But, yeah, like, I don't think there's something I would just wish for myself. What, uh, what's your Pokemon, favorite Pokemon? Motham. Motham? From Generation 4? Really? The really? orange and yellow Moth Pokemon? Yeah. Oh. He's super cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, uh... He I'd... was, uh... He was the first gender-based evolution that I ever found out, uh... That I didn't know about. Yeah. Because I only knew of War uh, Wordemon, which is the female version of it. Yeah. And when I got a male and it evolved in that, I was like... I thought it was something super special. I was like... What? <laughs> Whoa! Guys! <laughs> so, yeah, I've always had an affinity for him. Crack the code. <laughs> That's cool. Mm -hmm. I... I definitely... Oh shit, this episode is a long one. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright. Sorry, guys. Come back to that next time. Alright.